Hi, I'm back, and uh, let's see, where are we now? Now I'm going to be coloring Tinkerbell's shirt. I'm going to zoom in one more notch here. Because her shirt has an, uh, an image on it that I created a long time ago. So I am just going to go to my FX. And I think it's in textures, shirts. Did I... Label it Tinkerbell shirt. Nope, I did not. Did I call it a Shandy shirt? Shirt, shirt. There we go. This is a shirt I made for my daughter a long time ago. And I'm just going to wait. There. Pick this right here in clothing layer. Switch to the arrow. Now, right here, got to tiny it up. I know it's a little detailed, but you might not even be able to tell it's there. I, I got to do it because that would drive me nuts. Anyway. Can you tell what I'm doing? It's so small. Sure, that works. Oh, I got to go back to the clothing layer. And I'm going to change her jeans now. Delete. Pattern. One nice thing about patterns is you can just click denim. Go to the layers again. And boom. Got some denim. Now I go to enhance. Adjust the color. And super lighten. Go into shadows. Lighten. Perfect. Control H. Advance. And while I already have it open, let's see, is there any more Tinkerbell here? Nope, I think that is all the Tinkerbell in the picture. Jump up back to the top. <coughs> Sorry about the coughs. I've had a little cold. And I'm getting over it eventually. All right. Now I'm going to show you what I do. How do I get into hair? Where's hair? Where's my hair layer? Hair and wings, right there. And I'm going to pick her hair with the wand. I mean, allow, a wand that allows me to hit all of it, but did I hit? Oh. I hit all of it, so I got to make sure my contiguous is off. Oh, there. Now I haven't chosen all the hair on the whole thing. That's nice because I only want to work on that one panel. All right, so this might seem like a little cheating to you. I don't know. I don't really care because this is how I do comics and I'm just teaching you how I do comics. So in the textures, I go to hair. I have a file of hair. And let's make these big so I can see what I'm working with. And I'm going to go from black to brown. Let's see here. What kind of hair am I dealing with? <coughs> Just kind of wavy, so that might be the one I'm looking for right there. 
but just to be sure. Too curly? No. Nope. Mm, maybe. Nope. So yeah, I'm gonna go back up to that one. That's the one I want. Select, copy, arrow, and I'm going to FX layer and paste into. Oh, it's ginormous. Okay, so yeah, just sizing it up. What in the heck is going on in the other room? Um, all right, I better pause this for a second, go see what my boys are doing. Okay, I am back. Looks like this says I have six minutes left, and let's get back to it. No, why? Not sure if that's what I want, though. Yeah, not sure. I like that gap, but let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, something's not right here. Okay, maybe I'm gonna choose a different one. Here, here. Let's see, what am I thinking? Might need to chop it up and get the, the right angles that I'm looking for. Oh, shoot, I pasted into the wrong layer. Anyway, so, <clears throat> gotta try that again. Paste into selection. Oh gosh, just gonna keep. And that looks like the end of my video in 20 seconds. So I'm going to try and group all these videos together and upload them. So thank you for joining me, and uh, I hope you join me next time. I hope I'm a little more uh, into it next time. Like, I don't know what that...